Dale, it's that time of year, the Cache Valley Cowboy Rendezvous. Yep, it comes around every year. Yep. And we're so excited about it. This year, I think you have a great headliner. Tell me about him. We have Michael Martin Murphy, who's coming back to Logan for the first time in about eight years or so, and he'll be headlining a solo concert at uh, Mount Crest High School Thursday, March 1st. Well, I think that you're so lucky to get him to come, and this valley loves him, so we're so lucky. Yeah, we are pretty lucky, and I think he's pretty lucky, too, because he sure seems to like this area. Isn't that yeah. great? And last year, you kicked it off with the Bar J Wranglers. We had the Bar J Wranglers and a whole bunch of other uh, entertainers from around the area, and uh, uh, a lot of them are coming back. We've got new faces too, though. Well, and the thing about this event is it's good country music, but it's cowboy poetry. You've got a lot of different things, and it's family oriented. Yes, it's very family oriented. It's not just country music. We got to get that correct there. Now, this is cow. This is western music. There's a difference between country and western. You're right. There is. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, country gets played on the radio. Western doesn't. You have to come to these kind of uh, events to see that kind of thing. But uh, uh, we have other entertainers there that are coming too. Uh, and should I go through yeah. to the list with them? We have uh, two two poets that will be appearing with Michael Martin Mur Murphy Thursday, March 1st. We have a poet from Hooper named Sam DeLue and a poet from Salem by the name of Paul Bliss. Then we have two other uh, uh, pickers, I guess, guitar player musicians, uh, one being Dave Stamey and the other being uh, Ernie Seitz. Okay, so March 1st, Thursday, you kick it off with a great big concert with Michael Martin Murphy. Yep, starts Thursday with a great big concert, and then the, the doors open Friday at 5 o'clock for the rest of the event, for the festival type event. Okay, and that includes this family, Cowboy Family Dance? The Cowboy Family Dance is going to kind of be the conclusion of the uh, the main event, that being Saturday night, 7 o'clock. Michael Martin Murphy will be playing there with his band, the Rio Grand Band, with a great guitar player by the name of Pat Flynn, and he'll be playing a, a family dance. Okay, so that was the Saturday so you have a Thursday starts with the concert Friday I kind of skipped over that. Friday we have another concert there headlining this uh, this other musician that's came by the name of Dave Stamey and uh, people that know him have heard of him really like him. All it takes is one time to see him and you go hey yeah, that guy's a good kid. He sings about life and his, his, his songs and life is genuine and uh, people people really enjoy him. Now, to, to buy tickets, do you buy them for each individual, or do you buy it for this whole weekend? Uh, you can, uh, you you need to buy them for for each, for the concert. The ticketed events are there. The concerts, the Thursday concerts, a ticketed event. The Friday concerts, a ticketed event, and the Saturday dance is a ticketed event. However, if you buy a, 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 a ticket to any of those events, you're, it also gives you a a general admission pass in either Friday or Saturday. There's a coupon on the bottom of the ticket if you buy it on the internet. You just cut that out and bring that back on in and it's uh, and you can come in and watch all the open, the, the performance stages that are going on. We've got three stages, one being an open mic that will, that's for whoever wants to walk in. If you want to walk in and do it uh, and you've got a poem that you've learned, let her rip. We'll give you a time. Great. So you're opening it up to the public so we can come. So there's general admission. There's stuff going on throughout the day. There's stuff going on all day long. We And we also have a, a big group of vendors. We have some artisans. That, we have some uh, Western artists. We have uh, Western tack makers or saddle makers. We have a bunch of uh, a variety of, of uh, jewelry type people and that type of stuff that will be there that you can browse through and uh, bring some money. If you want to spend it, you can. You know, there's places, there's people that will gladly trade your money for some goods that you might want. You know what, Dale, this reminds me of the Summerfest, but it's a Western Summerfest, and this is going to be fantastic for us to get that kind of art that we love and then enjoy the music. Yeah, it's very much like the, uh, the the Festival of America West that they used to have up at the campus and, and at the America West Center, and uh, except it's a little earlier in the year, and so that's why we're having it all indoors, so we don't have to worry about the weather or anything like that. It's all being held on Mountain Crest. Uh, and Mountain Crest is such an easy location for all of us to get to right there in Hiram and easy to buy the tickets. You can buy them around locally as well as online, you said. Tell me how. You can buy them at, at Macy's or you can buy them at IFA and you can, of course, go online and, and, and purchase them that way. A lot of us, uh, uh, the only uh, assigned seating concert is the Thursday night concert. The rest are just general admission. So there's a chance, you know, uh, uh, you can buy the tickets there. Most of the, just the general admission, just come on in and buy a ticket there. Okay, well, you're providing a whole weekend full of fun. This is not just one event, but you can actually enjoy Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And Sunday. Sunday we have at the America West Center, we'll be having a Cowboy Church, which was just really well received last year and a lot of fun. And so we hope you know folks will recognize that. It's 9 o'clock at the America West Center out in uh, Wellsville. There's one other thing we have. We do have a youth poetry contest at 9 o'clock Saturday morning. It's for, it's for kids that have learned 
you know, they give them a chance to, to, to learn a poem, write a poem, whatever, and then we have several of our artists who will sort of judge them. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty friendly affair, and we have about $500 in gift cards for, you know, to give to the winners for, uh, so it's worth something for someone to do that there. Well, this is you, an exciting event for all of us, families, uh, couples just coming for the dance, but actually bring your kids even for the dance. Especially bring your kids. The, the price of the dance is $20 a couple and 5 bucks a kid, so just grab them along and, and come on in and see a world-class entertainer in Michael Martin Murphy. Okay, yeah. well now this is a lot of information, but you can check out the entire schedule at CashValleyCowboyRendezvous.com. Yep. CowboyRendezvous.com. Cash Valley Cowboy Ron. Sorry, it's such a long name. We're, we're working on it. Maybe so. You know, <laughs> we, can, we can get it. We can get that. And then also just go into Macy's or IFA Macy's and pick IFA. up a ticket. That's right. And remember one thing uh, spurs and shaps are optional. Okay. <laughs> okay. You don't have to wear your spur. You don't have to be a cowboy to come, but you might leave a cowboy when it's done. I was afraid he was going to say mandatory. So thanks for the optional. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. <laughs> we'll see you there. Thank, Thank you. you.